Hey guys, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today showing you how to do a self myofascial release or a pin and stretch technique of the internal shoulder rotators using a lacrosse ball. And again, rotators are sometimes hard to get to or understand where they're at, so you gotta know the anatomy and structure a little bit in order to make it happen. Remember that the teres major, not technically a rotator cuff, attaches at the inferior aspect of the scapula on the axillary border of the scapula or lateral uh, border of the scapula, and it comes over horizontally attaching to the humerus at the shelf or at the, the shaft of the humerus. And it rotates the humerus internally towards the center of the body. So it's an internal rotator. Again, we have our subscapularis, which is technically a rotator cuff and it sits on the inside surface of the scapula, on the shelf of the scapula, it's called the fossa. And it's snug between the ribs on the inside and the shelf of that scapula closer to the center of the body or more towards the front. And again, it tapers here and it comes to the front of the humerus and it clenches the, the muscle to pull the arm internally. So subscapularis, again, part of the rotator and teres major, not technically. Today, we're gonna show you how to get into the teres major. Subscapularis is a little bit more challenging to actually get to with self-palpation. So we're gonna leave that for another time. But what you can do is palpate the inside of your shoulder blade, find that axillary border. You can rotate your arm in you can start to feel that muscle fire underneath your fingertips. It's gonna come across. Once you've found that flexion, it'll help you to identify where to place the ball. You're gonna compress the, the muscle between the ball and your rib cage, leaning into a wall. Okay, so again, I'm gonna place the ball into that little spot. And now what I can do is I can externally rotate my humerus to stretch that muscle feels really good. So I'm just gonna compress it there to start. And remember, we're using a passive inhibition. We're using pressure to tension the tendon till, till the tendon relaxes the muscle. There's a reflex there. And that takes a little bit of time, so it'll clinch up. You'll take the slack out of the muscle by starting it in a softened position, and then it'll sink. Once it sinks, and you feel that relaxation response, goes in, you can start to stretch through the muscle by rotating the arm externally. And as you do it, it's gonna tension it again as the stretch resistance kicks in. It might block you from moving further. And then you're just gonna stay there until it relaxes again. So a stretch neural stiffness is gonna kick in. Once that calms down again, you can move again to another barrier and continue to rotate it back into external rotation. And that's how you would do a pin and stretch, neural and mechanical. Make sure that you use enough time to get the neural adaptation for the inhibition before you start stretching through the tissue and never provoke pain. Any questions, again, on this, reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. But again, self myofascial release for the internal shoulder rotators um, and specifically Terry's Major.